Serbia. This is the FIBA Basketball World Cup. Win for all. Live and direct. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Manila, the Philippines. This is the FIBA Basketball World Cup. It's quarterfinals day. Number one, Lithuania taking on Serbia. Let us now meet the squad from So here in the Mall of Asia, we are going to be tipping it off between two traditional European powerhouses, Serbia. Well, they need no introduction uh, for the all the success uh, that this country has had, and also as players of the former Yugoslavia, they come out. Obviously, this is a team with uh, a lot of ambition, a lot of high aims. I'm Jeff Taylor, joined by Mike Taylor. There's uh, Bogdan Bogdanovic, Mike. Uh, one of the premier players in international basketball back with Serbia this year. Serbia to this point in the tournament has been precision and high percentage. They've been an excellent offensive team. They've played very well together, and they're poised to make a deep run here in this important quarterfinals game. Well, to do that, they're going to have to beat a very good Lithuania team that just uh, beat the United States. So all bets are off about how this one is going to go. but. Uh, whenever Serbia are involved in a tournament, uh, it's inescapable. You're thinking this is a team that can tend, uh, can contend, and it doesn't really matter who is wearing the jersey. And we have seen all the pride, all the determination, uh, that, and all the talent that comes along with being a Serbian basketball player in this World Cup. And these guys have laid it on the line. You know, they're really hoping for a result for their country, such a strong tradition. Svetislav Pezic. The head coach, he's done so much over the years. I mean, you know, you go back to 2002 when he led Yugoslavia to the world title in Indianapolis. Of course, he had success uh, at other tournaments as well, uh, including with Germany, uh, leading them to the Eurobasket title in 1993. And now for Lithuania, I think everybody's opinion about Lithuania changed uh, substantially after their performance against the United States. In fact, during their performance against the United States. Jeff, people talked about who was not here for Lithuania before the tournament, and after this game against the United States, a fantastic win. Now they're talking about the players that are here, the coaches that are here. This Lithuania team reached such an unbelievable emotional high in that performance. The challenge for this group is now, how do they reach that emotional level again against such a high percentage precision? Serbia team. Well, the Mall of Asia Arena has seen some great basketball, and I have to say, now that the quarterfinals are here, uh, there's been some uh, amendments, uh, some additions to the stadium, uh, the entry for the players. It's all jazzed up. We saw also in the pregame, uh, the dancers actually being raised up uh, on their platform lights. And uh, these are the players, though, that are going to steal the show. And, and it's really what an opportunity for international basketball. 32-team World Cup, three countries, multi-hosted. They had great games in Okinawa. They had great games in Jakarta. These two teams actually have been playing in Manila, uh, Serbia coming from the Araneta, uh, where they had the thrill in Manila so many years ago. Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier. And uh, here, Lithuania, right at home, because they've played all their games here. Yeah, and both of these teams with their wonderful playing styles, this is what's interesting for me to see how these playing styles will match up in today's game on today's floor. Okay, well, Lithuania, Serbia, then uh, also Italy against the United States, tipping off at 8 p.m. local time. And then, of course, the other two quarterfinals will be tomorrow, uh, Canada and Slovenia and Germany and Latvia. So. The winner of this game will advance to meet the winner of Canada and Slovenia. And uh, you just got to take it one step at a time. Obviously, you're not looking too far ahead if you're a member uh, of these two countries. I'm sure the fans are already looking ahead. They're just three steps away from a world title.
We are going to pause now for the playing of the national anthems. remain standing for the national anthem of Lithuania. Well, as you might expect, the atmosphere is rocking inside here in the Mall of Asia. Lithuania getting ready to face Serbia. These uh, players, obviously, look at Svetislav Pedjic and Kazis Maxvidis meeting, and the players, they all know each other, a lot of them embracing before the game. It's uh, one big European family, but once the hostilities commence, I can pretty much guarantee you it's going to be uh, have its moments of uh, tempers, uh, contact physicality here are the referees omar bermudez from mexico is the chief martins kozlovskis uh, from Lavi on the left and johnny batista from puerto rico on the right so those three get the honor of doing the first quarter final and mike the one the one thing i'm kind of feeling in a way it's, it's pretty hard for lithuania to get as charged up as they were in terms of the crowd as you look at uh jip up there is taking it to a different level look at this Comparing it to the United States coming into this game. It is a different beast, isn't it? Yeah, this is the emotional challenge for a, a team after a big success You know, you're riding the high the fantastic performance in the first half nine for nine Three-point shot makes in a row and now you've got to bounce back and be ready to take on a great team like Serbia Who are gonna start with Nikola Jovic, Bogdan Bogdanovic, Ognin Dobrit, Stefan Jovic and Nikola Milutinov and Petrosov, uh, Marinkovic, Ristic, Gurich, all the way down the list there. Everybody in that team. You highlight this man, uh, Bogdanovic, best three-point shooter at the 2019 World Cup. Yeah, he doesn't get enough credit to, in the NBA and, and around the world for what type of scorer he is. Again, he is a high-percentage shooter, running off screens, burying shots. He will be a go-to scorer from this, for this Serbian team 
and Lithuania will have their defense set to stop him. And Milutunov is uh, going to have his hands full, you would think, in the front court. The matchup with Milutunov against Valanciunas is fantastic for basketball fans. And again, Coach Svetislav Pesic, a legend. Uh, this is a, a great matchup to see here for the first quarterfinal. I mean, the other man, the other Serbian players I didn't mention, uh, Stefan Jovic, Dejan Davidovic, uh, Borisa Simanic, who isn't here because he had to have his kidney removed after getting hit in the, in the kidney. Alexa Avramovic and Nikola Milutunov, who we talked about. Margaret Normanis, Tata Sadikerskis, Ignis Brazdekis, uh, Rokas Jokobaitis, and Jonas Volanchunas with Maldunas, Kuzminskis, Motiunas. Uh, all coming off the bench. Benjius, uh, Karanowskis, Demsha, and Servetus. And what about Jonas Valanciunas? This is Jonas Valanciunas' moment. He has been an outstanding leader and big man for this Lithuanian team. And this could be one of his finest hours, this run here at the World Cup. What he's meant to this, this national team has been something special. And then Jokobaitis. Well, there, there's not a better point guard that's developed his game and, and accomplished more than Rokas Jokobaitis. Right now, he's scoring, he's pushing the tempo, he's defending, he's taking his game to the next level. And again, he'll assert himself with the Lithuanian point guard greats and the great players they've had at that position. Kazis Maxvitas, the head coach of Lithuania. He knows a lot of these players, coached them through the youth ranks, and it's just a team that's in harmony. They are. They're together. They're settled. And you can see they're in a great rhythm after the USA game. Again, as we point, the biggest challenge for them is working their way back up to that high. Don't expect it to be easy. Don't expect it to, to just snap your fingers and you're back hot. Work for it. Stick to your fundamentals. One of the two undefeated teams still here in the FIBA Basketball World Cup, along with Germany, Lithuania, just illustrates how good they've played, how well they've played. They're not just beating uh, bad teams. They've knocked off Greece. They've knocked off Montenegro. They've knocked off a team called USA. I don't know if they're any good, are they? Well, if you're... I'd say that, you they, know. they are excellent, but when, <laughs> when you're on the way to a championship, there are some benchmarks, there are some signs and for them to be undefeated at this point after playing such a schedule is really good feedback like hey you have what it takes to get to that point and i have to say jip has just taken it to a different level completely i mean you know his skills and even disappearing act i mean i am a big jip fan you know had had some time with jip earlier in the tournament talked to him Right, number one, 55% field goal percentage. That'll be tested. But this is the precision, the intelligent, organized teamwork that has made this Serbia team so special. They're missing some key players. They're missing, obviously, some big names. But sometimes when that team doesn't have those big names, they really click together. And I think we've seen a little bit of that with both Serbia and Lithuania this World Cup. Mike. We have to talk about after Lithuania's win over the United States. How big was it on Sunday? How big was that? The mayor of Kazlu Ruda, about 45 minutes, 40 minutes west of Kaunas, declared the next day a public holiday. That's incredible, isn't it? I want to go to school in Lithuania, have a day off for basketball. And they will all be taking time off in school today to watch the games. They'll be having the TVs on in the classrooms. Have fun, guys. Make sure until I toss them all. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Manila, the Mall of Asia. We're underway here, the quarterfinal between Serbia and Lithuania. Bogdan Bogdanovic comes right out, comes up with a steal, and goes in for a layup. And he did a great job finishing at extension right at the rim. Great job for a strong Serbian start. Did a great job of coming up with a steal. Looked like the ball was going out of bounds. And uh, Bogdanovic, who plays uh, in the NBA, obviously. Here's Valanciunas. He started so well. Backs up Milutunov, and he gets in, just goes right to the rim. And Milutunov cannot give him an angle to the basket. Great inside pivot there by Valanciunas to get the angle and use his strength to finish at the rim.
Jovic left open and does not make it. Sedekarskas, who led Lithuanian rebounding against the United States by a country mile, brought down his first rebound. Here's Palatunas for three. He has become the three-point marksman. But, Jeff, it's his leadership. He's inspiring his team. The first bucket at the rim, the three-point shot. This can be Valentunas' moment in this tournament. This could be his moment in international basketball. The way he has started tonight, the way he played against the USA. Now backing down low, and Milutunov goes right at Valentunas and scores. And what you see from Serbia, they're not going to back down. They're going to get the ball where they want it with precision, and they finish extremely well. Razdekas hands it off to Jokovitis. Normantas left open. Pump fake, gets it over to Brasdakis. Brasdakis lets it fly! Number nine! We have seen this Lithuanian team shoot the lights out, been absolutely on fire at different stage of this tournament. And it goes, Bogdanovic. Beautiful finish. That cut was so vertical and direct to the rim. And then to finish against the shot blocking Valchunas. Look at that, almost a steal by Dobrinic. And uh, Jokovitis comes in and was well short on the shot. Serbia off and running. And Jovic ties the game at eight. Great pace to start the game for both teams. Nikola Jovic, number five, the promising youngster in the game right now. And another three. This one was in Santa Cruz because a little uh, reminiscent the other night when they made their first nine shots from three-point range. They're three of three already, Lithuania. Playing with so much confidence and so much teamwork, it's beautiful to see. The Serbia looking like a well-oiled machine on offense themselves. Here's Bogdanovic. Drifts his way in. Three layups already for Bogdanovic. Bogdanovic snaked the first pick and roll, snaked it again, and a great traffic screen in the lane got him right to the basket. Jokovitis over to Zedekarskis, and that's number four. And Dobrinic went down. He was looking for a foul, the block, or the screen. Stefan Jovic underneath the basket, now backs up. Jokovitis. Jokovitis crosses midcourt quickly. They run. Brasdakis gets it up and in. And Jeff, for both teams, you see brilliant teamwork. Their heads are up. They're finding their teammates. They're seeing the floor. And they're making easy, strong plays. Jovic missing it from deep. That's Nikola Jovic, who's just at the start of what's going to be an incredible international career for the senior team. Obviously, a star with the youth teams. Jokovitis and does not make the short jump shot. Now, Bogdanovic fouled by Normantas. Johnny Batista, the referee from Puerto Rico, on the call. Normantis did a good job stopping the ball early. You can see this is good pickup point for the Lithuania defense. Stop the ball early in this case, uses the smart foul to set the Lithuania D. Not too much contact, but probably calling it because of the reach and the way that Bogdanovich was able to extend his right arm and get that contact. Here is Serbia now trying to cut into this deficit and the fourth layup of the game for Bogdanovich. Boy, have they figured this this out. So intelligent, moving without the ball, sets up his cut, back door, beautiful pass, and excellent finish. Great team basketball from Serbia. I mean, surely some type of change is going to have to happen for Lithuania at that end. Brasdekas. Here's Valanchunas. Going up against Milutunov again. This time, takes the jump shot and misses.
Bogdanovich, his first jump shot. Normantas. And look at that, Valachunas fouled by Milutunov. Milutunov slapping down at the air, slapping down, trying to distract. Valanchunas, you can see it. Here's that beautiful backdoor cut from Bogdanovich. Look at that wonderful left-hand finish. Great pass. Serbia offense clicking. But Valanchunas just a attack, went up straight, drew the foul. First free throw is good. Well, nobody made his. So Valanchunas, when he's on the court with the ball, look at that, 1.5 seconds per touch. Average among centers, 1.5. And you can see where he catches it down low. Yeah, he loves to work on that block. And then you see where he'll catch it, pick and pop at the top. And 1.5 seconds is actually a good time for him. It's mean he's making decisive plays out of the post, reading if there's a double or if he can quickly attack. So you love that time of possession for the big man, Valanciunas. He's very efficient for his team. So that heat map where it's red, when you see that graphic again where it's red, that's where he has the ball usually when he's getting his touches. He also has it where it's green, but not as much. That the red is where he likes to go to work, his hot zone, let's say. Petrusa for three. Well. And that's really well-designed offense. Lots of action, and then a back screen for the popping big, and Petrusev makes Lithuania pay. And Mati Yunus, who's in the game for Valanciunas, banks it in. His first, he's been a great player in this team. Jovic goes hard, is denied by Mati Yunus. Petrushev gets it off in time, and look at the tap in! And he's fouled on the putback, can you believe it? Jovic, outstanding! Jeff, Serbia looked in trouble on that possession as the shot clock went late, and they did get the original shot up. This is why you always keep playing. Great individual effort by Jovic on the offensive boards, and we've seen Lithuania be a strong defensive rebounding team. So that's a great, great play for the young forward. I mean, just incredible when you consider Jovic wasn't that long ago playing for the under-19 team, the under-19 FIBA Basketball World Cup. And of course, that was in 2021. And here he is on the grand, on the big stage. And now the turnover, Jokobaitis, and the steal of Bramovic. And Serbia have knotted it at 20, and how many layups are they going to score in this game? Tuzminsk is in the game for Lithuania, and Mokta Yunus going right hard. And now Serbia with a chance to take the lead. Abramovic already paying dividends coming into the game with the steal and bucket. And now Normantas knocks it away from Petrusev. Quickly to Jokobaitis, and this Indian game. Jeff, that was beautiful fast break basketball. Heads up, ball ahead, teamwork. Ball never touched the floor, layup, Jokobaitis. Great job, Lithuania. Bogdanovich to Petrusev. I mean, they are... When we, when we look at the shot chart for Lithuania, for Serbia, it's just going to be layups. Well, this is their high percentage offense and precision. They really execute and get what they want, but this is a product of skillful guard play. Sedekaris gets behind the arc and short, but Normantas with the rebound. Jokobaitis for three. Count it! And again, Lithuania with work on the offensive boards, leading to the kickout three. Both of these teams 
playing at a high level in this first quarter. Lithuania definitely shining in the first quarter the last two games with their three-point shooting, but uh, Lithuania catch a break there as Marinkovic misses a three, but Abramovich with his second steal of the game. Then he pulls up. And the rebound for Serbia. Bogdanovic for three, he misses. So Lithuania avoids uh, giving up points at the turnover. The Pezic pacing in front of the bench. Karanowskis, one of the heroes. I think a lot of people would have thought he would have been the MVP of that game against the USA, but Lithuania had so many good players in that game. Many of them could have been the MVP. Demsik comes in. Brasdekas back in. And the Lithuania fans, again, travel in mass uh, to be here at the World Cup, even though it's across the world. Jeff, I'm impressed with the pace of play from both teams in the early going. Both teams playing differently, attacking differently, but at fast pace. It's really fun to watch. Karanowskis picks up the dribble, gets it to Demsha. Guterich guarding him. Marco Guterich in the game. On the ball. And almost a steal, the kick. And that Serbian defensive pressure is coming up with the goods. And you can see he, it, it really hurt them that he kicked the ball because they're running passing lanes on the back side. That's what you can do when you ball pressure. Good adjustment defensively from Serbia in their scouting report and game plan. Coach Pesic and staff. First quarter final of the day. The winner will advance to face the winner of Canada against Slovenia. And backing down low, Petrusev called for the foul on Moti Yunus. So when a big man like Petrusev is in a hard show, he stayed until the guard picked up the ball. It's difficult to find post position. Monte Yunus doing a great job sealing at the rim for Lithuania. Here's Brad Dacus. Spins and, well, doesn't turn it over. Demsha, that's short. But the ball bounces off Serbia into the hands of Monte Yunus, who's a real calming effect out there right now. Brad Dacus thought about it. Oh, his pass intercepted by Davidovic. And then Karanowskis called for a foul on Guterich. Again, another smart foul from Lithuania. Helps the defense set itself, but Lithuania overthinking things right now. This Serbia team is applying very good ball pressure and getting into passing lanes. Lithuania needs to think about more pass fakes and diagonal skip actions out of their plays. But the Yunus is going out. Maldunas, Gabrielis, or Gabas. But the units coming, uh, Maldunas rather coming in. Sedikerskis also comes back in for Mendogas Kuzminskis. And Mike, we have to talk about again real quickly. I don't think Maldunas got in against the USA the other night, but had the uh, the long career at Dartmouth in the Ivy League, number 12. Didn't think it was going to work out in basketball. Took a job in banking and then uh, just ended up going back to basketball when somebody playing for his local club saw when somebody saw him. Look at the drive from Guterich. And I'm starting to wonder if Lithuania can, can defend against the layups. Well, they're not applying the necessary ball plant pressure here in the first quarter. And that was it right at the end of the quarter. So in a very up and down, fast paced quarterfinal at the end of one, Lithuania lead it 25-24 over Serbia. So you look at the numbers, outstanding shooting for Serbia as expected, 67% in the paint, but it was the Lithuania three-point shooting that got them off to the hot start, five for seven. Remainder of the stats basically even, but again, great ball pressure from Lithuania defensively. You saw the strong start from Valanciunas early in the game. Outstanding teamwork. Bogdanovic on the backdoor cut. He was very active, scoring early. Again, 
Petrusev buries the big three. Senekerskis has given his team a lift as well for Lithuania. Jakobaitis offensive rebounding three. You know, Serbia now in the first half, in the first quarter, one for four from beyond the arc. When they start hitting some of those three-point shots, that's got to be a concern for Lithuania. They're too good of a three-point shooting team throughout the tournament. Well, get courtside 1891 in your smartphone. Download the app. You scan in that barcode, and you will have the app that you need uh, to follow this great tournament, to watch video streams, schedule scores, uh, all kinds of good stuff on courtside 1891. And not just for the World Cup, but for international basketball, 365 days a year. See, Abramovich still in the game with Serbia. One of the great stories for me in Serbian basketball, how he really established himself with this national team by playing in qualifiers when some of the other players, the more established players, were not there. And now he has become a linchpin in the team. Guterich over to Petrushev and Davidovic and another layup. So, Jeff, the precision is the pace of play. The teamwork, they hit the short roll, have the baseline cut attacking the health side. Great team offense from Serbia, but it starts with how fast they execute their offense. So Serbia back in front. They trail by as many as six points. Demsha to Matajonis. Doesn't finish, and now Serbia race to the other end. Davidovic fouled by Demsha. I, I can say, I, Mike, I have never, we were looking at the shot chart at the end of the first quarter, and all of the shots, bar except one for Serbia, were right underneath the basket. And again, this is, you you're, have a really structured system. You know what you're trying to accomplish. Teamwork, breaking down the defense, attacking the help, attacking together. And but Trusha to McGee goes right around, Monte Yunus. And now it's a three point lead. And if you're Lithuania, you've got to settle into your defense here. You've got to contain the basketball, direct the basketball, and slow the Serbia team down. Karanowskis back outside, Mendogas, Kuzminskis, and that was long, but Demsha races to the rebound. Now the pass to Mutti Yunus, and he is lucky to be uh, getting free throws on this. Looked like he was no chance of scoring. Okay, so the reach, in fact, was on Abramovic, so he felt it and made sure he had the contact. So he's... Ah, but they're not going to give him free throws. So he's now getting a tongue lashing from his coach because of... Uh, what, not able to guard? Well, he just got beat too easily at the paint there one-on-one. -on -one. Let Petrosev get to the rim. He looks pretty winded. He's going to sit down. Demsha, again, another turnover. Abramovic comes up with the steal. Abramovic is doing it all for Serbia. Guterich fouled by Kuzminskis. And Lithuania, who beat the USA and one of the all-time great performances for that country in international basketball are really facing a battle right now against Serbia. And what we see, Jeff, is outstanding energy from the Serbia team. And how does Lithuania match that energy and get back to that elite level that they were at against the United States? This is the emotional challenge facing the Lithuanian squad. Into the corner, Davidovic for three. Not this time. But Milutunov with the rebound. Turns, misses. Davidovic there to get the rebound. The ball goes out of bounds. It'll stay at this end. Look at that, Mike. Oh, I think it went off of Valanciunas. So... There was lots of conversation with the Lithuania bench whether they should challenge or not. 
coach Max Vitas asked the players and they honestly told him, they said, no, don't challenge it. Hold your challenge for later in the game. And this is great teamwork from coaching staff to, to roster right there. Again, it's most important that players are honest with their coach yeah. so that you can hold on for a more important possession later in the game. Gruderitz from the right corner and he's fouled. And I assume he's taking three. Indeed, he was behind the arc. So three free throws for Gruderitz. And Normantis is upset, but again, you'll see him come across his body here. Oh. But it was really, the contact was on the hand, not on the leg. He did kick his leg out. But Jeff, every game here in Ball of Asia Arena, we've seen the officials protect the shooters, especially the shooting hand. I think if he got his hand, he grazed it <laughs> by Adams. But a good job by Guterres to get to the line. And makes the first. Serbia have come out sharp, looking good, really on both ends of the floor, and getting outstanding contributions from a whole cast of characters. Their start is exactly what Coach Pesic wants. Lots of great energy, lots of great teamwork, outstanding defensive pressure for Lithuania. I would look for them to put the ball into the post at this end of the floor. Lithuania. And with Serbia on an 8 0 run, a technical foul or an unsportsmanlike foul? Has been called on Guterich. Oh, a technical foul. So we Jeff, that looked like really intense ball pressure and, and denial. One. And then we have this one I don't because know it's magnifying if the something was said or what happened. No, just tell me. Maybe he was holding a jersey. But wouldn't that be unsportsmanlike? It would be, I would think, but it was registered as a technical. Normantis. Lithuania needing, needing a bucket to regain the momentum. And Abramovich's defense has been a star. He has been terrific. Marinkovic goes out, Bogdanovich comes back in. Three seconds on the shot clock, deep corner inbound. This will be a specific play that Lithuania has. Let's see what they run. So it's gonna be Brasdakis who puts it up. And, and I suppose the buzzer rang before Balachunas was able to hit the ball off the rim. But it looked like Brasdikas was open initially, and as they were looking inside, that allowed the Serbia defense to close out and take away the catch-and-shoot look, forcing him into the tough shot. Lithuania has to do a better job collectively of handling this Serbia defensive pressure. Six to one start in this second quarter. Oh, nice play. He quickly gives it to Abramovich and triggers a break and he hands it off and it's another layup. Six point lead for Serbia and an offensive foul called on Karanowskis as he catches Abramovich with an elbow. And who wants an unsportsmanlike foul? They may go look at this. And I don't think it was necessarily intentional. Uh, to me, he's he's reaching in, and it's incidental contact. There was no real extension from the first look. As Karanowska spun to beat of Rabovich. Boy, how, how good has he been? Unbelievable, his, Rabovich. His energy, his defensive effort, the pace at which he's pushing the ball. That was a wonderful two-on-one late delivery. And right now, Serbia in the ascendancy. 
Lithuania need to put the brakes on this run for the Blues, and here's Abramovich, doesn't want, uh, doesn't settle, and instead, another offensive rebound. Abramovich gets swatted. Sedekeris gets over to Normantas. Hands it off, Sedekeris gets... Stays with it. How good has he been? Wow. His rebounding has been the fundamental help to the team, but his defense, and now when he hits a three or gets a putback in transition, that just makes him really outstanding for Lithuania. Lithuania already over the limit, so that's free throws for Serbia. Penalty swat. And, look, and Serbia came in shooting 80% from the free throw line. But Jeff, when you watch the Lithuanian defenders, they're struggling to contain the Serbian guards, the pace of play. They're being rejected one-on-one -on -one and in pick and roll. They've got to do a better job as this game goes on of containing the ball, directing the ball one-on-one, -on -one, and that will allow them to settle their defense. Whether it's fatigue, whether it's the pace, this has been an advantage for Serbia in this first half. Serbia three and four at the line today. They came in as uh, with the sixth highest percentage. 80.5%. And Guterich makes the first. And of the teams still alive in this competition, only Italy at 83% were a better free throw shooting team through the first two rounds. And also, Jeff, to me, that's a sign of concentration and focus. When you have a high percentage free throw shooting team, that team is locked in. Brad Dacus, and he's fouled by Jovic. So I like Lithuania posting up not only Valanciunas, but other players. This is a way to control the tempo. This is a way to gain fouls. Good work from Brezdekis. Romantis. Nice penetration, and Zedekaris gets once again. Senekaris gets basket cutting, great play. He's been so important for Lithuania here in the first half. Impressive from the forward. It's almost like giving him a piece of their own medicine with that drive and dish. Bounce pass, Milutun off. And Valachun has got his hand on the basketball and affected the shot. Normantis on the break and misses from three-point range. Guterich for three, that's all. When you see these teams attack in transition, they know exactly what they're looking for together. Great teamwork and transition at a good pace. Jokovitis quickly down low to Valanciunas. And I have to say, Mike, watching no Serbia play, I don't know how Italy beat them in the other group. Well, I think Italy has a little bit of psychological advantage against Serbia in recent games. They've won some important matchups against the Serbia team, especially last fall in Eurobasket. That was an unbelievable matchup. But it just makes you think about what the USA are going to face. Well, <laughs> again, tonight. that is going to be a humdinger. Without a doubt, the, the teamwork and ball movement could be the key in that game. It'll be different than Lithuania, but they will bring a tremendous team basketball effort. Well, we are 12 hours ahead of the East Coast of the United States. So if you're watching games there, it is very early in the morning. Brasdakis misses a layup. He made a Incredible. great move to get there, just couldn't finish. We're five hours ahead of Lithuania. Jovic over to Milutunov, missing, gets it back, puts it back up. Oh boy, he's been tough. And he's going right at Valanciunas. You can see the Serbian players reading the game extremely well, making good decisions. 
And the reach and the foul. It's also 11.16 a.m. in Belgrade right now. Jeff, I wonder if the schools in Belgrade are giving their kids a chance to watch. Well, you don't even up. have to ask that question. <laughs> Those school subjects put the game on. 12.16 p.m. now in Lithuania, so they're having uh, sandwiches and basketball. Soup, sandwiches, and basketball. And uh, Jokovitis misses the first free throw. The intensity and focus from both teams is outstanding. And Mike, you will agree. When you get from when you when you get to those top two teams in each group of, of the second round groups, you're talking about elite teams, aren't you? Yeah, and that's they, what we have now. They've separated themselves and they're focused on winning. So the top eight teams in the world are pretty darn good. And we're going to see them all in Manila, the Mall of Asia. Bogdanovic! Their biggest lead of the game now, Serbia go up by seven. Empty corner, pick and roll. And he really put the two on one situation with Valentinus. Great finish from Bogdanovic. Brasdekis gets it to Kuzmenskis. And Brasdekis, good rebound. Gets it back to Kuzmenskis. What a battle it is. Physicality, teamwork. You know, Serbia must be playing for Barisa Simonic, who had the kidney removed, and Jokovitis goes down. He was charged. And now, Jovic needs to be careful. Nikola Jovic keeping the basketball away from the referee. That's not a good, good look. Well, you can see players need to get open without using a push off of two hands and sometimes it's the easy way out when you're being pressured he just needs to have a little more discipline than that Jokovitis guarded by Dobrich over to Kuzminskis and that triggers a break Dobrich quickly up the floor to Jovic here is Bogdanovic for three hey Jeff what a shot Serbia uh, crowd section erupts. Momentum all with Serbia at this moment. They did such a great job getting the ball into the post to Jovic. He was patient. And Lithuania has to match up better in transition. They let the best shooter, the team leader, open for a top of the key three. They are playing such high IQ basketball. Timeout, Lithuania. Well, no need to hit the panic button if you're Lithuania, but the worrying thing right now for Lithuania is that Serbia just have all the momentum. And the question is, how big is this league going to get before halftime? And this is danger zone, as you say. Lithuania has to trim this deficit so there's not too much work to do in that second half. 30 points in the paint, a key to Serbia's success. And that's just that's not just on post-ups. They are getting layups, moving without the ball, driving to the basket, playing in pick and roll. Bogdanovic, 13 points, five of six inside the arc. He's one of two from deep. One of the, you know, obviously an all-star five member at the last World Cup in China. And Serbia, well, we all know who's not here. A lot of the talk about Nikola Jokic skipping, but the reality is this basketball country has plenty of firepower. There is the miss from Normantas. 
Good look for Nomantis at the top of the key. Ripped out. Important to establish their defense. Milatunov fouled by Valanchunas. Just a little bit too much oomph with his uh, left forearm into the back of Milatunov. Yeah, he, he's getting away. The referees are letting them play extremely physical. And there was just a little bit too much lean as he got into the body there. And that's more free throws for Serbia. Milutinov has shot 89% uh, in this World Cup from the free throw line. So not a good man to put on the charity stripe. Well, the you say it. The commentators jinx. It was not intentional, so I apologize to the people of again. Belgrade, of everywhere else in Serbia. Jeff, no one's perfect. Makes the second. Nine-point advantage, and you can see the looks on the faces of the Serbian fans that have traveled to Manila. They are having a good time. Quick pass to Brasdekas, pump fake. And great block by Bogdanovich to make sure it wasn't a three-point play. And again, you love this teamwork against the physicality of ball pressure. They entered the ball quickly, set a back screen, little flex cut action on the baseline. Brasdekas uses the shot oh, fake. Got him in the head. And he was actually fouled twice on that play, Jeff. Bogdanovich yeah. fouled him on the second What one. would have happened if they called the first foul, but then Bogdanovich, while swiping away, committed an unsportsmanlike. Well, that's what happens a lot of times with dirty teams. There'll be a foul on a drive, called on a reach at the elbow, and then if you're a dirty team, there's a cheap shot taken, you know, at the rim at and the end of the play. And the referees are like, hey, we already called one foul. Most of the time, they don't call the second, but that can be an unsportsmanlike call if it's, uh, you know, whistled that way. And just to be clear, we're not calling Serbia a dirty team. That's no. just some teams. Yes, some like teams, without a doubt. Serbia is a fundamentally sound, outstanding defensive team. Prasdekas did not get it. He has a chance for a bigger trip down the floor, but does not make it. So just one point. And it's an eight-point advantage for Serbia. And you look at the experience in that team. And right now, they are in a good position. Milutuna, the double comes. He makes the bounce pass to Jovic, but he gets away from the youngster. Again, good defensive adjustment from Lithuania. Pump fake, Normantis. Well, that was a gift for Lithuania. Nikola Jovic, the 20-year-old, who easily one of the bright talents in international basketball, makes a mistake, and Lithuania go down and take advantage. So timeout has been called by Serbia with 2.17 remaining. Let's go down and listen to one of the legends, Svetislav Pesic. Mike, I'm not going to ask you to translate that, uh, <laughs> so you can be thankful. Look at this, the pass to Normantis, but you had some dealings with uh, Svetislav Pesic during your days as a coach in Germany, and uh, I'm, I'm guessing you have formed some pretty strong opinions about him. Yeah, he's a great coach. He's done so many wonderful things. I got to be friendly with, with his son, Marco, as Marco got into the agency business, represented a few of our players. Robin Benzi, Per Gunther came to visit us in old, spent some time with him, uh, really enjoyed it. And to see him continue coaching at this stage, he's just one of the all-time greats in Europe. And his son played uh, with Dirk Nowitzki. And has now gone on to be an with, outstanding uh, with Bayern, Germany. Yeah, Bayern Munich uh, general manager. 
Touchdown pass. How about that? Right out of the timeout. And Jeff, Jeff, well defended by Lithuania. They're right there. He he was over the top and just dropped it in. Great execution by Serbia. Karanowskis trying to get free, trying to get it to Kuzminskis. Kuzminskis guarded by Jovic. And he's fouled by Jovic. Well, that's the veteran Kuzminskis. He's drawn an offensive foul on Jovic with his ball pressure and now draws a defensive foul posting up. A little veteran against the a rookie move here. Kuzminskis drawing the foul on Jovic. What do you think of that new bounce feature that we saw in the replay there from the uh, Serbian fan section? It's outstanding. <laughs> Matijan is coming back in, 44-36, Serbia on top of Lithuania. Kuzminskis averaging 11.4 points per game, only two, now make it three today. Still a long way to go. Every point Lithuania can trim off this deficit is really important. They need to get into halftime and regroup. And Kuzminskis does indeed make the second. It's a six-point game. First quarter final of uh, the FIBA Basketball World Cup. We also have Italy USA coming up tonight. That's going to be big. And then tomorrow, the other two quarterfinals. Here's Milutunov over to Davidovic. Missing and oh, Dobrik's almost stealing the ball from Moti Yunus. So it feels like a rare opportunity for Lithuania to, to cut into the deficit. And look at that. Boy, Milutunov reaching in, almost getting a steal. What we've seen in this first half, Lithuania's defensive game plan is for their big man to hard show and stay with the Lithuania ball handler until he picks up the ball. They've got to adjust to this pick and roll coverage. The Serbia to do the hard close? Yes. Close down? Yeah. Okay. Serbia defender to make the hard show and stay with him until he picks up the ball. Karanauskas over to Kuzminskis up at the top. Goes down, now they got a chance to run. Kuzminskis went down, trying to get the foul called, and it cost him. I think he could have stayed on his feet, and because he didn't stay on his feet, he didn't get back and play defense. Bogdanovich, game high, 15, showing up when his country needs him the most. Three letters come to mind. Here is Kuzminskis, steps out of bounds. You know what three letters those are? S, R, V, MVP. MVP is even better. Potentially, I should have said potentially come to mind. 46-38, and now another timeout by Serbia. Nervous times for Lithuania. Znači, Bogdan prevede loptu. Ti se odavljeno ne mestiš. Ti odavljeno. Ovo. Sa kendom. Ok? E, vraćaj se nazad, ima 7 sekundi. Ko je najbolji? Srbija, ima 10 sekundi. So Serbia is shooting 63% inside the arc. They're shooting 54% from the floor versus 42% overall for Lithuania. And that just illustrates they're getting great shots. But that's what they've done this entire tournament. It's not just one game. It's consistent. And that is a, a product of high percentage decisions, pace of play, skill, and teamwork. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Jovic back to Davidovic. And Bogdanovic gets it, puts it up! Perfection! 11-point lead for Serbia, their biggest of the game. Right here near the end of the first half. 
But the Eunice gets it and does not make it. All the momentum right now with Serbia as they head off to the locker rooms for the break. A lot to like about the men in blue. Bogdanovic, 18 points, and Serbia getting the best version of themselves here today against Lithuania. 49-38 at halftime. Impressive first half from Serbia. High percentage numbers from inside the arc, 63%. Big threes from Bogdanovic, energizing the crowd. You can see the rest of the numbers are basically the same, but the eight turnovers from Lithuania have hurt. Really. 13 points for Serbia off those turnovers. Bogdanovic leading all scores. Milutinov has been terrific. Uh, Sedekarskis leading the way for Lithuania, but you know, you can't understate the impact of Avramovic when he came into the game, particularly with his defense. And I'd say this is a pretty good key player matchup as well. Nine points for Milutunov, seven for Valanciunas. They've gone right at the strength of this Lithuania team. There you see it, Milutunov matching Valanciunas, but it's 34 to 16 points in the paint for Serbia. And again, the inside strength has been something special for Lithuania. Three-point shooting, not as hot for Lithuania today. Five for 14. But it's the pace of play, the pace of their offense that helps create the advantages leading to layups. But in the half-court sets, I mean, are you surprised how Serbia were able to get so many layups at the start if they've been playing this way for the entire tournament? I'm not surprised because that's who they are. That's their offense. It's, they play at that pace. They have the skill and teamwork to do it. This is an example of fatigue factoring in with Lithuania. Lithuania has been by far the best defensive team we've seen at Mall of Asia. And this is the struggle to get back to that emotional energy level. I felt it. I felt it right before tip-off, and that's why I say it feels different to the way Lithuania came out before the United States. And this is one of the challenges for a team that reached such a high. Now, all the credit goes to Serbia because they are going out there and executing. But the challenge now for Lithuania is, Lithuania, you've got to handle the physical ball pressure from Serbia together, and you've got to do a better job controlling the ball one-on-one. -on -one controlling the ball handler, handling the pick and rolls. So their defensive energy must improve. Now you know they will dig into that. They'll dig as deep as they can to try to do it. We're at halftime, Serbia lead at 49-38. Whatever our gender, color, belief, or capability, we are all on the same team. We have the power to change lives through basketball. Together, we are stronger. No matter your origin, basketball can bring everyone together. Basketball for good. Normantas. And oh, the rejection from Adat de Campo on Big Jonas. What a swat. Oh, give me that. And right on cue. Oh, I don't believe it! You cannot be serious! Kuzminskis! You can look at his numbers there. 12 points. And now Banquero for the throwdown! He went to work. Nice spin. Dunk. Oh, Paul takes. Takes the pass. Goes in. Has to go for the tip in. No good. Now Angola can push this. The down by Zuno Fight. Endo at Boa. Noche. Good night. Fernando with no regard for the transition defense. All the defensive work, and Slovenia gets the ball back. Benjaze. Dog.
Doncic slips past him, and it counts. Luka Doncic unstoppable through the lane. And Vitaze, he just the right thing. Make Luka beat you off the dribble. Find it, Bogdanovic. Turn around, quick shot, takes it. Bogdanovich, Troika, Troika, Troika. Well, coach, it may be Troika time. He's made the three-pointer. Then going into the halftime break with a two-point lead. Well, Dobro Jutro, Dobro Dan, Dobro Vecce. Oh, oh what a shot from Paco Cruz. He was literally out of bounds. Mexico, Paul Paul Stoll, rare that he misses that badly. Here's, oh my! Rodney Hollis Jefferson just flies through the air and even his wife raises her eyebrows. Oh, oh goodness me, wow. Symbolic of the shooting we've seen from Venezuela this first half from the three point line 12 of 25 in the three quarter leg bomb, nothing but net. Way in the flush. That is unbelievable. These guys will be legends in their own country, but also in the international basketball world forever. Well, no surprise, Bogdan Bogdanovich, the big game arrives and he was right on time. He's got 18 points, scored layup after layup after layup after layup at the start of the game, and uh, has really helped Serbia build this 11-point lead at halftime. Yeah, he's in top form. He's playing locked in, moving without the ball, creating with the ball, pick and roll, hitting jump shots, hitting late clock, big shots for his team. This is what a high-level scoring guard looks like. Bogdan Bogdanovic rising to the occasion here in the quarterfinals of the World Cup. Eight of 10 from the floor, and he hadn't played for Serbia for four years since the last World Cup. He wanted to play last year, but wasn't, wasn't able to, wasn't healthy. And sometimes you just gotta give it a miss. And now he's come back strong. And Sedekariskas continues to really demonstrate a high level. I mean, I, I don't think expectations were that high for him on the from the people I was speaking to, but he's good. He's very good, but here's the point. His role is as a defender and energy guy on the boards when he has 10 points and five rebounds and is your leading scorer at halftime, you know your opponent, Serbia, has done an excellent job with defense in the first half. Lithuania has to get themselves going here. They need to go through Lithuania or through Valanciunas in the post, and need to, they need to find ways to create easier shots for their team. But the bigger question is, how do they stop Serbia, and do they have the players that can guard? Yeah, and, and again, it's not just one or two players here, as you see Sadakarskis' shot chart. Excellent versatility. Who would have thought he'd be a guy that has two, three-point shots for them? At halftime, he's mostly finishing at the rim and rebounding. But the main point here is the volume of defenders on the perimeter that this Serbia team is throwing at Lithuania. They're doing a great job applying pressure and limiting the key Lithuania ball handlers and playmakers. 
If I were in that Lithuanian locker room, I would be offering Brett Stankus Moe's cookies. Or at least promising him if he gets up to a certain level. That's the motivation. Hey. Yeah, it's interesting with uh, Sedekarskis. He was one of two from three-point range against the USA, but didn't even attempt a three-pointer the previous three games and then had missed one against Egypt on opening day. So here he is taking all those threes and Lithuania having to settle. And Jeff, that's a sign that Serbia is accomplishing their game plan and taking away the strengths of this Lithuania offense, making them find another way to score. Well, so often, you know, you talk about halftime adjustments, and this is where a coach really shows uh, his skill level, his his talent. And we've seen Coach Max Vitas do it before. At halftime against Greece, instead of posting up Valanciunas, they posted up the wings and created open three-point looks off of post reaction. And this sparked a seven for seven stretch hitting threes. Let's see how they can solve the puzzle against Serbia this game. But what is more important? How they attack offensively or how they figure out how to stop Serbia defensively? The priority is stopping these guys on the defensive end, number one. They've got to find a way to contain the ball, stop the ball, guard Serbia, and get some defensive stops. Serbia with the high percentage, 63% from two, 56% for the game. They need to have a great defensive half and bring that percentage down. And that's the challenge because Serbia has been precise and high percentage all tournament. So there's Sede Karaskis. He's got the 10 points, the five rebounds, the two assists. And we've absolutely, again, I want to go back to uh, Avramovic at the other end for Serbia, how he has gone from, well, who are we going to get for these European qualifier games? First hand up, always available. Anonymous compared to so many great names in Serbia and yet always played and kind of grew in stature and here he is since I guess you go back to 2017 when the new competition system started that November Here he is one of their most important players. Yeah, what does that say about the qualifier system? Well, the qualifier system is a way for players to grow into roles and gain real game experience and gain confidence show themselves and earn a spot on a team, spot on a roster for big stages like this. Avramovic has been outstanding with his pressure, his energy. He's making winning plays. He's doing exactly what they need from him off the bench. So he's being a star in his role. That's great to see for Serbia basketball. But he's not the only one today, Jeff. No, absolutely not. Uh, and it should be noted that he was coming out trying to get an explanation as to why an unsportsmanlike foul wasn't called on Karanowskis when the foul was called, when he caught him in the mouth. But the referee said, listen, it was incidental contact. He got you with the arm. We called the foul because he was like, didn't I get hit with the elbow? But he accepted it and moved on. And now. And we have seen players from both teams manage their situations and emotions exactly like that. Why? Because winning is the priority. They don't want to do anything to hurt their team and this is high-level basketball. Officials have done a great job controlling the game, and here we are, set for a great second half. I mean, the one question I would have, not that it hurt Serbia that much, was the technical that was called on Guterich, and we're only gonna find out that after the game. Well, all we can say about Chip is he is out of this world. Jeff, when Jip is out midcourt dancing, is he doing the robot? <laughs> kind of like you used to do in the old days, right? Old days, old days. Your son's <laughs> This is the Mall of Asia Arena, and I 
have to reveal that one of the first things that Mike did when he arrived here before the start of the tournament was get his photo with Chip. Okay, so the FIBA Basketball World Cup app, you can scan in the barcode to get that in your smartphone. And you get all the news, information, stats, videos, everything you need right at your fingertips. We're underway in the second half between Lithuania and Serbia. Serbia leading it 49 to 38. First quarter final. Brasdakis for three. Good. Takes it with confidence. And Imantis Ben just pounding the LED. For Lithuania, that's the heart that they've showed. And here they are starting in a 2 3 zone, changing the rhythm of the game. Dobrich over to Milutunov. Shot clock winding down. He's got it. Looking to hand it off. And he better go. He has to put it up. Oh, he almost made it. Kuzminskis style. <laughs> Remember how Kuzminskis made yes. it against the USA. And Brasdakis skip pass to Demsha. Behind the back pass to Valachunas. Jokovitis. It's a two, Valentunas. Oh, what a tough shot and make wow. great patience. Great patience and outstanding finish. Leaning, fading, finding a way to get that shot off. Great job, Valentunas. Jovic for three, good! The young man, the 20 year old. And Jeff, that was so smooth, he made it look easy. If you're good enough, you're old enough. Jokovitis, and that was a big shot for Serbia. They didn't want to see Lithuania get out on a fast run. Valentunas open, knocks it down. He's been good with his jump shooting in this World Cup. See how long it is before, Le before Serbia get another layup. Jovic. And does not have success against Valanchunas. Jokovitis drives in and scores quickly. And Jovic complaining about a foul at the other end from, from Valanchunas. But that's just going to go into the ether. Yeah, he's not getting that call in this game right now. Jovic. Wow. Stefan Jovic. So again, you can see Kazmax Vitas telling his team there's too much space there. On that re-screen, they've got to have a little bit more ball pressure, fight over the top, or at least contest through the screen. Valachunas thought about it. Razdakis drives. Boy, that was a strong move. And two free throws awarded after contact from Jovic. The whistle comes a little late, but they like to see, I think, how the contact Yeah, and look at, the, look at the physicality underneath. Here you can see there's too much space for Lithuania. Jakobaitis went under and did not contest. He's got to at least contest through the screen there. And down this end, Jeff, they can always get Valentinus open because Serbia is in an ice coverage, and that means the, they'll try to keep the ball on one side of the floor. Valentinus can pop into space instead of rolling. When they re-screen in that situation, Serbia is switching. So that's where they can post him up and try to attack the mismatch. Uh, just one of two for Brasdakis. Janovic, amazing run into the paint. And that's just so difficult for Valanchunas to guard. This poetry in motion. The length and extension 
Unbelievable. Valachunas gets it. Back to the basket. Guarded by Milutunov. He's got to go quickly. And offensive foul called on Valachunas. Milutunov, Milutunov hand, hand to the face. Oh, yeah. Well, you can see how physical it is down there. I mean, that is a shot right there. Serbia did a great job sending a second defender to the rim. Valentunas tried to get to the middle. Just looked like there was nowhere to go for Valentunas. Bogdanovic. Jovic, another open three, and not this time, but look at that. Dobrich hustles, gets it back. Quick pass. Wide open, Jovic, and hangs on the rim for emphasis. Jeff, that's just great teamwork and awareness in the scramble. Brastekis to Valachunas, and look at that well read by Bogdanovic, who knocks the ball away, waiting for the pass from Valentunas, read it beautifully. And look at this. Valentunas had no idea that Jovic had snuck in behind him. Serbia about ready to take a vice-like grip on this game. Dangerous moments for Lithuania. Jovic, wide open again. Good! The shots are falling, and Serbia are feeling it. And they lead Lithuania 62-48. It's going horribly wrong right now for Lithuania. Look how strong Post reaction, Jovic with a big three. Serbia just playing so well together right now on both ends of the floor. Stefan Jovic and Serbia right now are on a roll. Jovic with that pass to a wide open Nikola Jovic for the dunk. And then he hangs on the rim, flirting perhaps with a technical, but nothing was called. Really good energy from the Serbia team. They're playing so strong, so physical, and so together. Real challenge for Lithuania to try to get it under control right now. Serbia flying. It is a masterclass performance for them today. Brastakis. And they're, and they're getting it against arguably the hottest team in the competition. Brastakis for three. Rebound. Jovic. The only thing you can say that's in Lithuania's favor right now is that they've got time to turn this around, but it seems like it's getting worse before it gets better for them. And the ball goes off of Dobritz and out of bounds. And there's a win for Lithuania. Good ball pressure gets a deflection. But the difference right now is Serbia are creating the shots they want. And Lithuania are just taking the shots that they can get against this ball pressure defense from Serbia.
Get past. They read it beautifully almost. And Jokovitis punishes Jovic, who did not get the steal. Big three, big play. Stop on one end, score on the other. A lot of work to do for Lithuania, but that's a start. Everything to just uh, the margin is so narrow right now for Lithuania, even on every pass. Oh, good job by Munchiunas, almost knocking it away. Jovic steps back for three. Got it! He's on fire. Yeah, and Jokovitis did everything he could there. That was just a big shot. Spain pick and roll action here. Nobody really screening for Lithuania at this point. Jokovitis again. Nope. And Milutunov with the board. Offensive foul called on Dobric. Talk me through this. Well, again, we talk about waiting for your team, the screen to settle. Sometimes when you have a handoff, it happens at full speed. That was a tough call for Serbia right there. Their defensive pressure and energy has been so good. And here and it is again. Steal and Abramovic and Serbia in the process of lowering the boom right now. Up 16. And timeout, Lithuania. Abramovic checks in immediately. Back tip steal, turnover, timeout. He's really impacted the game. So Jokovitis, again, Abramovich, how much do we have to talk about Abramovich? His defense is every bit as important as Bogdanovich's three-pointers, as Jovic's threes. Well, he's part of a game plan to wear down Jakobaitis, and we see Abramovich comes in with brilliant ball pressure. The back tip leads to the turnover. This may be the time where we have a secondary ball handler for Lithuania. We see Karanowskis checking into the game to give Jakobaitis a breather. So we saw we saw that Abramovich in that graphic had four points and two assists, but but really the most important stat are the four steals. Yeah, the ball pressure and the steals. Unbelievable what he's been able to do. You know, and again, we talk about a star in your role. Impact the game in your role. Here is a guy who has earned his way onto this team with great play in the qualifiers. He's a backup guard, and he's really helping his country. Jovic goes out. Nikola Jovic with three fouls. Normantas drives. And... Just nothing working for Lithuania, even when they get pretty good looks. They're being outscored 18 to 13 in this third quarter. Guterres drives in. Oh, what a terrific play, using his body to perfection. But again, there we are, Jeff, not containing or directing the basketball. And Abramovich going for the steal, holding his mouth like he's been hit again. Demchev, a long three, and Davidovic rebounds it. Dobrich from the left. Lithuania, you feel like they've got to go quick because the deficit is so large. 
Still got 11.42 remaining, but it feels like there's not much time for them. Nice spin, Kuzminskis. Again, Kuzminskis and some of the wings can be post-up opportunity guys for this team. There's a nice finish from Kuzminskis. They've got to find a way to get some easy baskets against the Serbia defense. Well, they would love to get some turnovers and easy buckets. They just haven't been able to generate anything like that. Guterich dribbles up high. And boy, gets it to Pedrosev, and he throws it down. Jeb, Lithuania's defense is just a step slow getting into position out here right now. Good job by Karanauskas just to get it across midcourt. And Abramovich bumps Demsha. He goes up to make sure his uh, friend is okay. He's going to go out of the game. 51.2 seconds remaining. Normantis for the jump shot. It's good. Back to 16. You know, Lithuania it had the all time high the other night, beating the USA in the way that they did. And right now, it must feel like an all-time low coming off that. They need to really get it going quickly here. Guterich fouled as he gets to the line. And you know, Jeff, there the question about their emotional situation, how they respond and get back to that level. And they have just called offsetting technicals on Pet Petrusev and Normantas. Jawing at each other. Well, that'll take care of that. The referees stepping in to intervene. You know, the question is, when you're playing from behind like this, it takes so much energy to fight your way back into the game. And when you start in that situation where you're trying to build that energy back up and reach that high again, it takes a lot out of your team. So this is a tall task here from Lithuania as we get into the last possession of the third quarter. Karanowska is trying to bait the referee into saying something to Abramovich. And the referee just says, you just play ball. Eight second differential, the game clock and the shot clock. Abramovich, shot clock about to expire, explodes! Razdekis pulls up and misses. And with 10 minutes remaining, Serbia ruining the party for Lithuania. Manila, they lead it by a big margin, 73-55. Numbers maintain high percentages for Serbia. Seven for 15 from three. Now they're up to 47%. Again, points in the paint, 46 to 22 in favor of Serbia as well. And the bench points, 25 to eight, favoring Serbia as well. Key for Lithuania has been their 11 turnovers. That's a tribute to the intense physical Serbia defense. I mean, there's so many different ways you can put it, but for me, Serbia, they already had the loss, maybe sharpened their focus. They probably had a better game to win in the last game against the Dominican Republic. Lithuania had to get so up for that last game against the USA, had the game of their lives. I won't say they celebrated like there was no tomorrow, but it's awfully hard to follow something up like that. And it feels like I'm making an excuse for them, and I'm not. I mean, you got to give credit to Serbia because they have been laser focused. And like you said, players like Abramovich are doing the things that they do so well to help the team win. Yeah, this has been an impressive performance from Serbia. Lithuania, you can see they're really engaged. They're putting their heart into it. 
it's just not clicking. There's not a lot left in the tank. However, there are 10 minutes to go in their World Cup dream. Well, we're seeing the side of Jip we haven't seen before. Download, scanning the barcode to get the FIBA Basketball World Cup app in your smartphone. Download it on the Apple Store, get it on Google Play. And Lithuania are going to have to play their best quarter of basketball if they are going to stay alive in the hunt for the Naismith Trophy. 2-3 zone. Abramovich into the paint. And almost. Almost getting a three-point play opportunity. Instead, he takes two free throws. Well, you know, Lithuania say, hey, Montinus contained that ball. He exploded into the lane. He was so fast to the rim. And the Serbia basketball fans, you know, we, we've watched so much from the Lithuania basketball fans the past week, more than a week. Uh, but the Serbia fans, they've also turned out in mass today. And they are loving what they're seeing. 20-point lead, Serbia lowering the boom here on Lithuania. But when you talk about transition defense and pickup point, both of these teams are doing an excellent job of stopping the ball, slowing down the ball handler around the midcourt, just across midcourt area. Abramovich does a great job there, called for the foul, but their transition D has been very, very important. Kuzminskis for three. Those shots have to fall, yep. and Lithuania need to get some turnovers. None, none of it is happening. And really, if you're Serbia, you just, you're not in any rush. They don't even have Bogdanovic on the court. Marinkovic, he earns the trip to the line. And for all the, uh, it's, it's probably too early to say this, but for all the, the great work of Svetislav Pezic in his career, this is shaping up possibly to be his finest hour. Well, he's done so many great things at different places. In different eras. In different eras. And to me, that's what makes it impressive, but it's hard to pick a finest hour, but you just, you marvel at the ability to continually, with different generations of yep. players, continually achieve success. Now, what we saw in this last possession was ball reversal. They took the ball from one side of the floor and swung it to the second side of the floor and drove against the ball pressure. That's a really good individual response within the team structure for Serbia. Just one of two, and Lithuania come up with the rebound. Krasnikas takes the contact, drives, tries to get it to Sedekerskis. When, when you work against Lithuania, one of the things they do so well is flatten out the defense with their pace and transition. And you see how Serbia's transition defense stops the ball around the half court area. This is a critical point of controlling the Lithuania offensive attack. Demcha. Back to Jokovitis. Oh, is that blocked? Oh, the ball falls and it's not going to count. Serbia putting on a clinic on both ends of the floor right now. Lithuania running into a buzzsaw. Good steal, Demcha. Maldunas in the game turns and 
Buterich, good job. Maldunas not losing it. Brasdakis missing. And that's about as good a shot as they're going to get. And they've just missed a couple of threes. Twenty-one point lead for Serbia. Eight minutes remaining. Avramovic, that's all. Sadikarska bumped by Davidovic. And you go back to the U.S. the night that Lithuania beat the U.S.A. If they don't win that game, they're not playing Serbia. They're playing Italy. They actually went to scout Italy that day, earlier in the day. They tried to be realistic, and then they pull off this amazing upset. And, and they end up playing we, possibly a better team. Yeah, I mean, we don't know. Maybe not to take anything away from Italy, but... There's Maldunas. Rebounds and misses. You know, not taking anything away from Italy, but, you know, because Italy beat Serbia. So give them the benefit of the doubt. But it's, it's hard to see... Uh, Italy being any more formidable of an opponent for Lithuania than this Serbia team has been today. Well, this Serbia team came with great energy right from the beginning. And you can see that the Lithuania team has had a difficult time trying to keep up energy-wise. The effort is there. Valachun is coming back into the game. 7.22 remaining. And this may be the run, Jeff. This may be Lithuania's shot at it right now. Oh, Bogdanovich back in the game. Puts it up. And Brasdakis comes down with the basketball. Sadikaris gets fouled by Bogdanovich. And again, Lithuania has done a great job posting up their wings, guards. And it's not only to score, it's also to create post-reaction, draw fouls, control tempo. Good work from the Lithuanian coaching staff. Bounce pass, and finally gets something good on an inbounds pass of all things. Set of Kerskis, the two. That's the same play with the second cutter curling they Four ran press. against the United States. Well, Serbia broke that pressure easily enough. Guterich back to Petrusev. That's short. No, that's good. Wow. They are just nailing it. Eight of 18 from three-point range. Nukobitis has it deep. Gets it to Valanchunas. Back. Look at Serbia. They just aren't giving away any open looks. Sadikarskis missing. Strong rebound to Vidovic. Hey, you just feel like you got to stand up and applaud Serbia. They have been excellent. Yeah, they're taking away the first action, the second action, the third action. Their multiple efforts and teamwork on defense has been really a clinic. Petrusa again, the three-pointer. They've made nine from 19. And Serbia leading it 82-57. Lithuania have to call timeout. How quickly the tables turn in international basketball. Kaziz Maxvidis in Lithuania, just two days ago, less than two days ago, celebrating the huge win over USA. And now they've got a mountain to climb and not much time to do it. So as you see, they're stretching out Valanciunas in that coverage. That time it was Guterich before Bogdanovich. They drive attract the attention, and then there's no chance to recover to the shooter. And look at those Serbian fans. They are jumping for joy. 
So out of the timeout, Coach Max Vitas goes with a small lineup. Sedekarskis has a five, Kuzminskis has a four. More mobile will have coverage, potentially switching one through five. But is it too late, Jeff? I think it is. But saw the uh, tracker there, minutes. Here is Demshaw for three. There they go for the steal, Demsha. Petrusha throws it out of bounds. So it's a 22 point game right now, 527 remaining. Never say never, still unlikely, but now with seven turnovers, Serbia. Demsa steps back. That's the air ball. Mendogas, Mendogas Kaminska is able to get it, but Sedekarskis doesn't catch it. Four fifty remaining. Marinkovic. Vanya Marinkovic missing, but Serbia maintain possession. And Jeff, now we have small lineups, five on five switching. Rebounding will be key. And Bogdanovich drives in. I mean, how do you see him having changed the past several years since he's been in the NBA? Well, he's got a lot more confidence playing one on one. You know, he's putting the ball on the floor, he's playing under control, pick and roll. He just seems at complete control of his offensive game. Makes the second one. Been playing with Atlanta since 2020. Before that was with Sacramento. Good goodbye. And uh, gets it to set of Kiriskis. But before he does, Bogdanovich fouls. Demsha goes out, Normantas comes back in. Just tough times right now for Lithuania. You've had so many wonderful moments in this tournament. An amazing victory. And as the tournament goes on in the quarterfinals, to have a, a, a performance like this, just difficult. They're showing a lot of character here, continuing to compete, four minutes to play. Well, it's been the kind of tournament where it felt like you simply could not afford to lose. Because if you did, you're gonna have to get an upset along the way, but Lithuania just took care of business all along the way. And uh, this is, it's just going horribly wrong. What can you say? Well, the last day. Again, it's not because of the lack of effort or lack of preparation or lack of will. Some days sports are like that. And when you're going to have a you know, phenomenal victory, win a World Cup, you know, you just have to play well at the right time. And for whatever reason, they have not had a very good game today. A lot of it has to do with, I think, with the energy and, you know, trying to bounce back. But the main point is how well Serbia has played. Okay. 
Well, Sada Karaskas has really been one of the unsung heroes, I think, for Lithuania. And today he has come out and produced the difficult circumstances. Certainly in the first half, we highlighted the fact that they were turning to him for offense. He fits this lineup well with the uh, 14 physical. points, seven rebounds today. Valanchun is big and physical inside. His mobility and versatility complement that extremely well. Boy, almost a made shot, and Serbia continue to get the basketball. Out rebounding Lithuania today, 32 25. Bogdanovic hands it off, and then. I think Bogdanovich was maybe almost unselfish to a fault there. What do we say, Jeff? No friends in the paint. When you get that close to the rim, you got to be ready to finish. But again, it's a it's a good team thought. Here's the dunk down low. We saw a similar call in the USA game when Anthony Edwards had to steal after the shot clock violation. If there's no defensive possession, the officials will blow it dead and reward possession to the defensive team. Lithuania wanted to run, but they didn't have control of the ball yet. Razdekis and the foul, so he will go to the line. And I guess anytime they can stop the clock, to score points or try to score points that's ideal maybe set up their defense but you said it jeff this is the same team that scored 110 points against the united states right now with three minutes to play they're at 62 so it's a combination of serbia's outstanding defensive effort and their not so hot day You know, let's turn the clock back to last year when Serbia were at the PB Eurobasket and looking like a team that would have to be reckoned with, and they went out against Italy in the round of 16. Big and surprise. Big surprise, Jokic in the middle. I mean, he was playing well, but, you know, just for whatever reason, it wasn't their year. And one year later, it is. And it felt like it was Lithuania's year after having that tough Eurobasket last year. Boy, Jokovitis. Here's Marinkovic. Look at that. Still struggling to get the rebound. Good play there by Sedekarskis. Not coming across and getting trapped. Dzminskis. Well, they're definitely guarding the three-point shooters. Look at that, and they end up turning it over to Serbia defense. And look at Pezic on the sidelines, arms raised. Give away nothing. And the chance, Serbia, Serbia, ring throughout the motivation. So they will advance. There's no doubt. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna happen. And the question now is, what is it gonna take for them in that next step? And will they have the goods the next time out? Because uh, it seems like maybe they are peaking at the right time. They will play the winner of Canada, Slovenia. And if you're either of those two teams watching this. Are you quaking in your boots? No, you're preparing for tremendous ball pressure and putting your game plan together, how you use your lineups. <laughs> 
Djokovitis. So they get it back to an 18 point deficit with just two minutes remain. Look at the touch pass to Petrusev. And Kazis Max Speed is frustrated over on the bench. Lithuania, nothing working at either end. Again, the team response to the trapping and full court pressure. The ball, Jeff, doesn't touch the floor. Look at this. The awareness, they're reading the defender as he steps to the first pass, the next defend, next offensive player makes him a tar himself a target. The ball goes there and he has the awareness to throw it ahead for the easy two. Mike Serbia since uh, becoming his own state, they made it to the final of Eurobasket 2009, but they lost to Spain, that was in Poland. They made it to the final of the FIBA Basketball World Cup in 2014 and lost to USA heavily. Then they made it to the final 2016 at the Rio Olympics, but again got blown out by the United States. And don't forget they made it to the semifinals in 2010 before suffering that heartbreak to Turkey right at the death. So, you know, maybe this is the year that Serbia are finally gonna get to the top of the podium. Well, it's a fantastic basketball tradition. You've got great coaches, great players, and great teams. You know, for them not to have had a big result in several years is kind of a surprise when you think of the type of players that they've had. And when you're missing a big player, Nikola Jokic, or other great players that they've had through the years, you know, sometimes the team rallies together, there's not so much expectations, and then they can develop and grow with that great coaching, with that great style of play without pressure. And I think we're seeing this here. They have been a precise, high percentage team. We see the pace they play with is something special. But tonight, they com they combined it, the pace of play, precision on offense, with outstanding ball pressure and defense. So this combination is fundamental basketball. It's great basketball at both ends. And, you know, I think they, you know, raise their uh, hand and say, hey, we're here to win. We're here to be a contender. Well, Servitas missing from deep. And Jovic, just don't forget about him, the 20-year-old who clearly is uh, one of the players to be excited about in international basketball, but just so much to like about Serbia. Abramovic dribbling the ball right now. Ristic is checked in. He's fouled. Dusan Ristic. And it maybe, maybe we're not surprised Serbia have won this game. I think we're surprised they have won it so convincingly. Well, again, the energy level and pace of play that they set on both ends just was too much for Lithuania to keep up with today. And we've seen Lithuania be the ones to dictate the pace of play, to dictate the energy level in other games. They just came out a little flat today. This is what happens in a tournament, in a World Cup, where you're playing over two weeks, several games, several matchups, and unfortunately it just hit Lithuania at the wrong time. Here's Normanis making a three. Getting back to 19 point deficit. Serbia fans mock applause. And Ristic again. Goes back to Lithuania. So Lithuania will, I suppose, look, you know, try to build on this for, for next year. Of course, they'll have some qualifiers coming up in February for the next Eurobasket. They will also be. They will also be in the Olympic qualifying tournaments. I guess they were hoping they might they would make it straight directly to the Olympics, but they will not have that luxury. They will have to go through the Olympic qualifying tournaments. And meanwhile, Serbia, a step closer. Unbelievable performance. Drawn up by that 
great coaching staff we know that they have. The Lithuania fans still proud, still cheering. But you got to give credit where credit's due. And, and Serbia deserved this one today. They were outstanding. Eighty-seven, sixty-eight. Serbia win it over Lithuania. Well, you see the long looks on the face of Jonas Valanciunas. They had to believe this might be their year, but you got to spare a thought for Serbia as well. They've been knocked around at the, the worst possible time the last few years. We know they got upset in 2019 uh, by, by, let's see, it was France beat the USA, and it was Argentina that beat, that beat them in 2019 when everybody thought they would have the makings of a team that could go all the way. We know what happened against Italy. And we remember what happened in 2017 when they made it to the final and lost to Slovenia. I forgot that one. And Bogdanovic was outstanding. And in 2015 as well, uh, you know, they, they went far. So here they are again. How far are they going to go this time? That's the question. Well, if they play with this type of precision on offense and pace, if they play with this type of defensive pressure and teamwork, the sky is the limit. It, this is a wonderful scene to see the Serbians celebrate their hard-earned victory. Tough for the Lithuanians to walk off at this point, but this was a convincing win for Serbia, and you've got to consider them a contender as they move on to the semifinals. So look at the numbers and uh, just across the board, excellence for Serbia, not surprising. 24 assists, they out-rebounded Lithuania. That'll be disappointing for Lithuania. They forced those turnovers and they were important. But Jeff, those are the energy plays as you, you look at the leaders there. Bogdanovic game high 21, Petrusev with the important back-to-back -back threes, 17. Instead of Kerskis, great game for Lithuania. But the energy of Serbia led to the advantages, 48 to 24 points in the paint. The bench points, 38 to 11, powered that energy. 15 turnovers from Lithuania compared to eight. These were the, the ways that energy showed up in the game. But again, you see these back-to-back -back threes from Petrosev. Those were... They broke the game open if it wasn't already. That just gave, gave, that put a seal on it. So the celebrations are on for Serbia. And the celebrations are gonna last long into the night, I suspect, with all their fans that have come tonight as uh, we look at the, the highlights of just a masterclass performance by them. The and emotion. Just so many guys. The emotion, fantastic highs after the victory and lows after the defeat. You know, what were the expectations for Serbia before this FIBA Basketball World Cup? You know, the air felt like it was out of the balloon when Nikola Jokic wasn't coming for a lot of people, I'm sure, and maybe some other players, but the players that showed up, they showed up for duty. And it's the next man up. And if any team is well equipped uh, to handle that, it's Serbia. They have been so impressive out here today. So as we look right now at the 
road to the final. You can see Serbia, the first team to punch their ticket to the semifinals. They will face the winner of Canada and Slovenia, who play tomorrow night. Italy, USA are up next in the left part of the quadrant there, the bracket, and then Germany, Lithuania also will be, excuse me, Germany, Latvia will be tomorrow. So these are the teams that have qualified already. Uh, no team so far from Europe because there's still too many European teams in there. Uh, but it's going to be fun watching the teams that do try to join the Olympic party. Road to Paris again for the Olympic qualifying tournaments. Still uh, Lithuania, Lithuania are in, so they know that they have made that one. And there is the Naismith Trophy, folks. Well, high expectations always for both of these countries, no matter who shows up. And once again, Serbia, no surprise, they're still alive and kicking at the FIBA Basketball World Cup.